Hello, my name is Matthew from the Department of Internet Ministries, and today we're going to familiarize ourselves with the Modex Content Management System. A content management system is exactly what it sounds like. It's a system that helps you manage the content of your website in an orderly fashion with great ease. We're going to start on the home page of the website, and we're going to go ahead and log in. What you need to do is move up to the address bar in your web browser, and after the address that is already there, type in Manager. From there, you want to enter in your username and your password, and then log in. Here is the manager area, which is divided into three other areas. Along the top are the main and admin menus, to the left is the resource or site tree, and on the right is the main manager area. The resource tree is a list of all resources in the website. It's where you select the resources you want to edit, move, or delete. It's organized in a hierarchical order into parent and child resources, the parent resource being one of the main tabs of your home page. The number in parentheses on the right of each resource's title is what's called the document ID. There may be occasions when you need to know a resource's ID, and this is where you're going to find that number. Additionally, you can use the resource tree icons to perform actions on the tree. Hover your mouse over the buttons for tooltips to explain their purpose. You can also right-click on any resource's name in the resource tree to give access to another contextual menu. The contextual menu gives you quick access to additional shortcuts. We will cover in better detail on a different video how actually to edit the resource, but let's take a quick look at the main manager area. The top portion of this area allows you to edit the settings and description of your resource. Let's look back at the home page of our website. As I hover over the About Us tab, you can see Patron Saint, Clergy, Schedule of Services. Now going back into the editor, Title is what you will see in the menu item of the website. The long title is the title of the actual page, and the URL alias is the unique address identifier for the specific page, just like forward slash manager is the URL alias to access Modex Manager. So if you're creating a web page for services, you may call it services. If you wanted to create a page about, say, your Greek fest, you could call it fest. The menu index determines where in the parent category the resource will be shown. Lower numbers mean it will be higher in the category. In the next section, you see the content editing area. What's really great about ModX is that if you've ever used any kind of word processing software, you are already pretty familiar with this editor. You can see across the top of the box are buttons to bold, italicize, or even underline text. You can create web links and you can add photos. For example, let me turn St. Basil into bold. Once you've made your edits, all that you have to do is click on Save, and then click Preview to see the changes that you've made on the site. In this video, I've tried to give you a brief overview of the ModX content management system. You're now ready to view the remainder of our videos and edit your website with confidence and very little trouble. Thank you so much, and have a great day.